Hello everyone, it's nice to have you here. My name is Confident and in this video, we're going to take a look at the audio widget and I'm going to show you some of its properties and ways in which you can configure it to get the most out of the audio widget. So for us to get started, I would bring in a new audio widget from the widget sections into the canvas. And right there, we have an audio widget on the canvas. The first property we have to configure is the URL property. And this is the URL to the file that would get played on the audio widget. So I can just replace this with um, a URL from W3 schools that has the sound of a horse. And playing this, we are able to hear that. So that's for the URL property. And you use the URL property to specify um, a link to the file you want playable on the audio widget. The next property we have on the audio widget is the autoplay property. And when this is turned on, the file in the audio widget would get automatically played whenever the page is re-rendered or whenever the page renders. So that's the autoplay pro property. You would want this to be on when you want the audio file to be played automatically. The next property we have is the visible property and turning this off would hide the audio widget whenever the app is deployed and that's the visible property. So let's turn this back on. For actions, we have three actions. We have the on play action, we have the on pause action and the on end action. And for the on play action, this action is triggered whenever the user goes to click on the play button. So whatever um, logic we specify in the on play action would get executed whenever the user clicks on the play button. So we can um, use any of this predefined logic or we can go into JavaScript mode, write some JavaScript that handles whatever we want to be done whenever the user clicks on the play button. So let's turn this off and set this to no action. The next property we have is the on pause action. And this gets triggered whenever the user pauses the audio that is being played. So that's for the on pause action. And similarly, we can run similar actions to uh, what we have available for the on play. And lastly, we have the on end action. So this gets triggered when the audio file is done playing whatever action we specify here gets executed and that would be run. Awesome. So this is the audio widget. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like, get subscribed, and I'll see you in our next video. Take care. Bye-bye.